Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lessons for beginners. So after you learned about the basic rules and technique of capturing an Atari, we want to talk about the idea of the direction of Atari. So this is the main idea of calculation. After you play a move, you want to think about what the player against you will play. So let's take the free shape as an example. You can see a, the shape above, no, no, the shape below. There's two stones, two black stones, and one white stones. If you want to capture the white stones, which way will you Atari? Because the two stones have just two liberty from this side and this side. And after you Atari, you want to think about after what extent, how many liberty will the group be. So if you Atari from this side, and <coughs> why will it go with prevent from capturing? Why will it go with the extent? And after extends, we have free liberty, so it's hard to go with capturing because you cannot continue with Atari, so it's harder to capture the group. But if you Atari from this side, force the stones to edge because the stones close to the edge have less liberty. So this is a pretty important idea. And then you can imagine if you from prevent from capturing, why will go with extends. And then, because the group has just two liberty, you can continue with the Atari. If, and after your Atari, why will go with the extents, but the group has just one liberty for this side. So you can play this move to capture it. And, and then we'll see the shape at the right above. If you which stones have just liberty? This one stone has just two liberty, and we have two ways to Atari. And if you Atari from this side, what will I play next? Of course, the connection. So after connect together, the the liberty will get get more. So as the side here is the same idea of this one. You force the stones close to the edge, so you can play this move. And if Y from want to prevent from capturing, Y will go with the extents, and you can continue with the Atari, and after the extents, you can capture the stone. So, let's see the final example. So, you can see here, this Y stones have just one little bit just have two liberty, so you can Atari the stones and then capture it. So it's not it's important to Atari from the direction and force the Y extends to the edge and then and your stones. So after you Atari force the Y to to your stones, you it um it shorters the group's liberty. So if you Atari from this side, what, what won't prevent from capturing do the extents and this stone shorter the group's liberty. So after this, Black can capture the stone. But if you Atari from this side, while go extends, why have free liberty. So it's, it's harder to capture the group. If you play this, what can just do extends and what have one, two, three, four. So yes, the this is a maddy of uh, of the direction of Atari. Okay, that's the more example of this one. Like the like the two shape above and below. So as you can see here, um, we discussed the idea of force it to the age, and 
because but um what have the four stones nearby the two stone. So what will we play next? So it's pretty important to cut the if you want to capture you it's pretty important to cut the direct direction because after what got connect together, the liberty will a lot more than being separate. So the answer is a turret from this side. And after Y go extends, this group just have one liberty so you can capture it. But if you are from this side, after Y connects both groups, and Y have one, two, three, four, five, six, six liberty, so it's pretty hard to capture the whole group. The idea, the other idea is after your Atari, you want to think about your stones. So as this, for example, the the group here has just two liberty. So there's two way to Atari. So after your Atari, you want to force them to the edge and just with two liberty, and then you can Atari again. So, but um, if you Atari from this side, and Y go extends, Y just have two liberty. But here's the problem. The black zones have just one liberty. So, after Y pull this one, and then next move can capture the zone. So, if you want to continue Atari the zones, like, this one, trying to capture, and then why can just capture your stones can and have more liberty f to the group. And after you are totally from this side, you want to capture the three, and why can just connect. So as the shape like this, you want to extend your liberty and shorter the other's liberty. So it's better to Atari from this side. And it's the same for it through age. And after Y go extends, Black can go continue with the Atari, trying to run out and just have one liberty so Black can capture stones. And next we'll talk about the ideas and the skill of double Atari. So you can see a shape like this. Both two stones have just two liberty. The stones have this one and this one. And the stones here has this one and this one. So because we can just play one move on the board at, at one time. So if you Atari two groups at the same time, so you can capture one of those. So you can do this to shorter both groups' liberty. So after Y want to save the, the stones, you want to, he wants to go with extends, but you can capture the other. And if it extends from this way, you can capture stones this side. So double Atari is about Atari two groups at the same time, and then you can capture one of those. So you can see the two shape here, this this shape and this shape. Um, in this shape, there's two group have just two liberty. One is this one, and the other is this one. So this this zones have one and two liberty. This zone has one and two liberty. So the answer is uh, let's see to cut the connection and Atari the same time with this zones. So after you Atari this one, and what can just to save one of those, one of this. And after Y go extends, Black can capture the zones here, and Y connect the zones, Black can capture the zone. And how about the shape this way? The group here has just two liberty, and also the stones. 
So you want to Atari both group at the same time. There's here's this liberty and also those way. If you want to Atari same time, you have to cut the connection. So you will pull this move, and after block a connect, you can capture one of those. So final example um, is combine different ideas of Atari and capturing. So find the group or stones have just two liberty here. So you can find this stones have one, two, just two liberty. And also the stones have one, two, just two liberty here. And this group has one, two, just two liberty. And also this group. So we can think about maybe this stones are third first and those two. If you are third from, from this side, we can just cap because because it's tiger mouth, so I can capture stones. And can you play this move? It's not because it's illegal point. So we cannot Atari the, the stones here. How about this one? Can you play this move? No, it's illegal point. And can you play this move? Yes, you can, but um, it's not the best because the stones get Atari. So after this, why can capture the stones? So you can uh, capture all of the white. So as you can see, after you play this one, why play this one? And you play this one, why play this one? So the vital point of the shape like this is to play this one. As you can see here, you are target the group and this group at the same time. So I can just save one of these. And after why trying to save the two stones above, you want to go with the connection, and then black can capture two stones. So this is the idea we talk in last few videos. Um, if both group does with no liberty at the same time, the one play the move can capture the other. So after black play this move, the Y will be captured. It's the same if Y play this one, and Black can capture two stones. Although you have no liberty here, but you play a move, and and then the Y will be captured. So this is today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thank you.